Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. So, guys, the other boss or the third boss in the event has came in, and it's one of the most annoying bosses actually, and it's Sagat. And the problem with Sagat that he stuns a lot, and you need a little bit of RNG to do some runs to not get stunned. Or ruin your combo even if you get stunned you can continue your combo unless he stuns your units and interrupts your combo so we're gonna go and check the lineups now I'm ranking at 12 it's a decent lineup uh, I broke the 3 billion which is really good and I will show you the lineups that helps not only one lineup that I depend on one lineup is pretty much awesome which is the fire Adon, and this is what we need to run but the other lineups did pretty much good damages and it got me absolutely to a higher rank so the first lineup which i'm running is fire adon and you need to be understanding one thing you need to play with him which jury which will help him a lot on him now you can replace her with somebody else like rose or any other unit that can buff the attack you can play uh mayor cody mayor cody also works but for the sake of survivability we're playing her because he restores his hp back and he doesn't die and evade death a lot now i'm playing an a rank goken if you don't have a rank goken you can play able or suit able they will survive or you can put any sudo or sub tank whatever you want like uh, honda honda will be immune a little bit uh, or once or twice maybe in the battle and then he will die and you can continue you can use the c2 of rich honda but the main thing that we're using is the combo of this lineup and fei long is super important on your lineup on a unit that will not die and survive to the end of the battle so you can capitalize on the burns dealing more damage as you are playing a fire team comp so we start with fire Adon uh, because we have Kami and uh, Vega EX as you see Kami and Vega EX and Akuma EX to improve his attack and give him more damage bonus and I'm using Virgil EX now most of my runs I didn't use the uh, Virgil EX because I didn't have to because of Goken making my whole lineup survive you only need one copy of Goken he works fine as you see I've done uh, the damage I even broke to 1.7 1.8 billion but uh, the more stable and consistent is 1.4 to 1.5 which is the number that you want to be at to, so you can rank up to the top 50. So we drop Kami and Vega EX and at 51 second exactly you start your combo with Fire Adon, Street Poison, Goken then Fire Adon and you continue until the end of the battle with Honda, Street Poison, uh, Goken or if Goken dies you go uh, Honda again with the C2 then Fire Adon with the C3 and that's it how you need to do your run. Now the second team and one of my reliable teams actually as well which is I'm using Mayor Cody on uh, Dalsim and I'm using DiCapri on Blanca because DiCapri have high attack and it will help him get high damage numbers. I'm using Bison as a tank as well and I'm using uh, Summer Yang as an assist or as a tag position for his C2 to give me more combo meter. So the lineup how I use it I start the battle with Fashion Blanca C1 of Dalsim then uh, C2 of Summer Yang to give me more combo meter and C3 of Bison. I do it twice and on the third run I start with Dalsim, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, then Dalsim until the end of the battle. Now you can go Dalsim, uh, Summer Yang, then Fashion Blanca, then Dalsim, but I recommend using the C1 of Fashion Blanca and the C2 of Summer Yang so to give you more combo meter so, so you keep your rotation and dealing more damage. And this is how it goes. Uh, Sagat will keep hitting Bison so you have no problems here and you're not in threat at all so i'm using the ex moves uh any ex move that buffs damage actually you can use here i'm using the last one which is uh the the crazy potato but i didn't use it that much but if you feel that you need to use it because uh sagat sometimes hit back to back if he stuns the first unit and the second unit might take damage so you need to shield them and help them out and on the third lineup I'm using Gorma Kalakan. Now you can use Gorma Kalakan at A rank or you can use Evil Ryu here at A rank also works. And this lineup actually does insane damage. Now why I'm using Elena? Elena her passive with the 6 out of 6 cards will give her the opportunity to give your lineup a combo meter at the start of the battle so you can capitalize on that and deal more damage with the time bracket that you have. So I start with Viper, uh, Elena, Able, then Viper or if Able is stunned and you want to use a C2 or, or you see that it doesn't fit you can use 
a Viper uh, C1 from Abel and C2 from Elena, then C3 from Viper, whichever you want. The C2 of Elena is really good because it will boost up your defense. And this is how we go. And with the passives of Gormagalakan, we'll add more damage because it will buff our Viper and it will deal a little bit of damage. As you see, 23 million damage with him at SS, which is really nice. It's not that bad. If you have Evo Ryu, I recommend playing Evo Ryu because he will drain the combo meter from uh, Sagat, plus he will hit a little bit harder. Now I'm using the uh, Drones EX move it, of uh, Chun-Li because it will help give me more combo meter as well and any EX move that will buff your attack. The healing one I didn't need it, I don't know why I used it, you can use somebody, something else that capitalize on maximizing the damage. Now on the third lineup I'm using Summer Elena. Now you can use Summer Elena at A rank but she will not help you that much, you need her at SS so she can survive or she can help your lineup. If you want to change her for somebody else also you can play Eva Ryu or Gorma Galakan here but you need them on the main lineup. You can play uh, Chun Li on the tag position, but I uh, I recommend if you have Summer Elena built at release to SS, you play her in tag position. The combination will start with Akuma, Abel, Akuma, then Chun Li until the end of the battle. Of course, we used uh, these. And one major point you need to understand here is put on uh, Summer Elena. You need to have Kami. Kami will give armor break. So we'll have 10 armor break on Sagat, so Chun-Li will deal even more damage. As you see, Chun-Li did 110 million damage, which she doesn't usually do, but she did here because of the armor break that is accumulated on Sagat. And Akuma did most of the damage because it's a single target uh, bossing unit. Now, I didn't do the previous video on uh, Vega boss. It was the same AOE damage, the same lineups of the pre previous one, but I was a little bit under the weather, so I couldn't record any videos. Let's go and check the replays of our fights. So the first fight, and I'm gonna go until we hit 51. So at 51 seconds we start. As soon as I have Kami and Vega EX move, I just drop it. And here we go. We have the combo meter, so we can start with Adon whenever we can at 51 seconds. And I wait, I wait, I stall. So at 51 seconds, I start with Adon and I press the Akuma EX move so he can get the buff from it. And as you see here, we start with the combo. Adon, then uh, 3 poison, uh, cool, uh, Goken then Fire Aidon. I don't know why I always say Akuma. And then I continue the combo meter with Rich Honda, Sweet Poison, then Goken, then Fire Aidon until the end of the battle. As you see, that damage accumulate. Now, the tricky thing and the RNG here and the lucky thing is you need Sagat to stand in the fire. Sometimes he moves up front. You need to push him backwards and this is this happens with the C2 of uh, Goken. And any C2 that could push him or go back uh, in front of him. Now, I use the Virgil EX move here because I didn't want Akuma to die. I should have let Akuma uh, uh, Goken die because if he dies, I get more combo meter and I can do even more damage. So keep that in mind. Probably it's not the best way to play the Virgil EX. Probably play it on another lineup that you feel that it, they're not surviving. The second lineup, and it's the Dalsim lineup. At, at the start of the battle, I wait until uh, Sagat starts his combo and I start with Fashion Blanca. And after 5 stacks, I use C1 on Dalsim and he accumulates stacks. I keep waiting and then I drop uh, Summer Yang. Summer Yang with his C2 will put Armor Break as you see on the boss and he will give us a little bit of combo meter. And then I use uh, the same rotation again. Of course, the C3 of Bison. Sometimes Bison is stunned so you can't do a C3. But with a little bit of retries, you can do that. And here we go. A little bit of damage. Now I start with uh, Dalsim and C1 of uh, Fashion Blanca, C2 of Summer Yang and C3 of Dalsim. I wait a little bit so he accumulates so we don't lose the stacks. Again, start with Dalsim, uh, Fashion Blanca, Summer Yang, then Dalsim again. And I wait, I wait a little bit so the stacks keep continue uh, going up and up. And then I go back to back and I let him rest a little bit in the end so he can accumulate more on his Yoga Tower. Now Summer Yang almost died there but we uh, uh, saved him. Sometimes because of the uh, positioning of the lineup, here we dropped him after he did his uh, super Sagat so we could survive. And in the end I did a super C1 and that's it for the damage. It was pretty decent damage. You can do even more with uh, the Dalsim team, but uh, the, with the time that we had, 600 million is really good. Now, the third lineup and it's the spam with Viper team. So I wait a little bit, I accumulate some combo meter here. And we wait, we wait, and we drop the drones as soon as we have them because we want to accumulate more combo meter with the drones. Now, of course, the passives, the triggers of uh, Gorma Galakan are a lot. So every time he trigger, you're gonna get some combo meter because of the battle lust that we have. And here we start with Viper, uh, Elena, Abel, then Viper again, and we continue going back to back. I use every buffs so I can get more damages, and the shields will absolutely 
keep us surviving and alive and we will not die because of uh, uh, the, the damage that we get. Unless he does this, which is back to back, back to back after he stuns you, which is a little bit bad and you need to rerun again your battle. Sometimes he wipes your team, he keeps going with his uh, Tiger Punch or uh, the C3 of him on his normal Sagat, which is actually bad. And here we go, absolutely ramping up the damage. You can deal even more damage, I think I I, want, I, I went to half a billion here, but in the end with the combo meter it didn't proc that much and I did one Viper, yep, Elena, Abel and another Viper C3, yes, in the end. It gave me a little bit of push in the damage. This is how you need to run this team. And the last lineup with the Summer Elena and uh, Akuma and Shanli. Abel is uh, the MVP here with his shields, kept everybody surviving. And we accumulate a little bit of combo meter as well. We know that Chun-Li give us a lot of combo meter, but again, we don't want to run out of combo meter because uh, with Akuma, you go so fast with the combos that it drains your energy bar quickly. So at 55 seconds, I start with Akuma, Abel, then Akuma, then Chun Li, and I drop my EX moves every time I have the chance, so I can accumulate more and more. As you see, you can't even see what is going on because we're pressing it fast back to back, back to back. It's straight up Akuma, Abel, Akuma, Chun Li, and that's it. There is no change in the uh, rhythm. There is no change in the combos. Sometimes she takes the damage, Elena, when coming from the tag because of the second time she gets the hit. Sometimes she doesn't. Here we go. Abel was stunned, but we went through the combo, so it wasn't a failure. We don't want to get stunned in the middle of the combo, so this is why we go so fast. When we start with Akuma, Elena is protecting him, she's in the front. Then Abel with his C1 goes in tank. Then C2 with Akuma and C3 with uh, Chun-Li. Absolutely good, lovely team. This is the team that you want to run and it's stable. It will always get you in the top 50, probably in the top 10 if you were lucky to uh, with uh, Fire Adon. If you kept the boss on the flame and this will help you massively on your run. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly.